What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make folders using Terminal. So the first thing I want to do is just, I'm starting at my home screen. Um, I'm in the home directory. I'm going to move to my documents folder. Um, so I'm just going to type cd documents. And then from here, I can start uh, making different uh, directories or folders. Directories and folders are the same thing. So to make a folder, I'd say make dir. That's the command to make a directory. And then I give it a name. So let's say um, folder one. And I'll say I want to make more than one folder. You could do folder two, folder three, and it'll create three folders for you. And you just hit enter. So if I do an ls, you'll notice I have folder one, folder two, folder three. So now we can move into the folder one using cd. And we can do an ls, and we'll see nothing is in there as expected. Um, we could move out of folder th 2, folder 1, move to folder 2, nothing in there, 2, now move to folder 3. Now next thing I want to show you is how to make, um, let's say I name something, you know, this big nasty uh, folder like this, and now I'd like to cd into it. Well a cool thing about terminal is there's thing, this thing called uh, tag completion. So if I just type the first three words of this folder right here, and then hit tab, um, you'll notice it auto-completes it for me. It types the rest of it, and I can just hit enter and I move into this directory. Well, the cool thing about uh, Terminal is it knows uh, what all the possible different types of um, folders that you could move into. So I'm just going to move back up. So when I type cdasd, it looks for all the different folders in this um, location that start with ASD, and then it tries to match um, this with it. So when I hit tab, this was the only one that started with ASD, so it just expanded the whole thing. But let's say, for example, I do CD into folder. Well, it doesn't know if I'm talking about folder one, folder two, or folder three. So when I hit tab, nothing happens. If it tab a couple more times, it will then spit out all the possible matches for folder. So I do folder one, and now I win. So this is, but this makes it very fast to you know move around in terminal. So like for example, I can just do folder tab. Oh, it looks like we we don't know whether it's folder or fonts. So I type another one, I get an L, and now it knows it can only be one of the folders. So I hit tab, I get so many folder, I get folder two. Maybe I see you back out, go to fonts. Um, and then I go to that big, I go back out and I go to this big long thing. So notice how I'm just like weaved in and out of each one. So I went to folder two, I went up a directory, I went to fonts, went up a directory, and on this, and then I went up a directory. So where do you think I'm going to be after I'm done um, CDing all these places? Take a guess. Well, let's see. It takes me back to documents because I was just going in and out of each folder. Cool, so I made all these crappy empty folders. How do I delete them? Um, there's a command called rmdir remove directory, and then you just give it the name of the directory. So folder one, bye bye. Um, and let's also get rid of this nasty thing. So now when I do an ls, all I have is folder two and folder three. Now important to know, remove dir only removes empty folders. For example, if I move into folder two, Oops, folder two. I do make dir, um, let's say folder 2.1, and I move back out and I do remove dir folder two. It says directory not empty um, and doesn't let me delete it. Also, before I go on, I hate how cluttered my screen is right now. Notice how there's all this garbage in my prompt is at the bottom here. Um, to move to the very top, if you type the command clear, it'll take you to the top and it cleans all that stuff up. That's a very important command to remember. So if I do an ls, I see all my files here, and we were trying to remove folder 2 and it wasn't working. Now, what I can do is I first have to remove the folder inside of folder 2. So just like this, um, this will remove folder 2.1 but it will not delete folder 2 because we're telling it to remove, we're telling it the path to the directory we want to move, remove, which is folder 2.1. So 
So we just type that and it deletes it. And now we're able to remove folder two. But that's a lot of work. What if we have a bunch of different folders inside folders? We have a bunch of files. How do I just delete it? So there's another command called rm, which removes files. So let's say I have, let's go into folder three. Um, the touch command just creates um, empty files. So I just created doing touch a, b, c, d, e, f with spaces in between will create six different um, files that are empty. So if I do an ls, I'll see a, b, c, d, e, f. And if I do remove a, it removes it. So if I do ls, it's gone. Um, so there's a, something called remove dash rf, which removes everything. So if I come back up, if I try to do remove dir on folder three, it'll fail because there's stuff inside. But if I do remove rf on folder three, everything is deleted. So if I do an ls, no, it's notice it's all gone. So that's a lot in this lesson. Let's just review real quick what we just learned. Okay, so one, you can clear your screen using clear, which will take the prompt to the top. And don't worry, it doesn't actually delete any of the contents. If you scroll up, you'll notice it's all still here. Now that's different for some commands. Um, on Windows or Linux, depending on what you have, it may not show it above, but at least for Mac, if you scroll up, you'll see your commands still there. And then um, we learned that you can make directories using the make dir. So for example, I can create a directory called abc, and then I can remove a directory using remove dir, just like that, and it's gone. Um, and we also learned that if I make a directory called abc, and I make a directory inside abc, for example, toast, and then I try to remove abc, it won't let me kill it because toast is inside. But if I do remove rf on abc, it will delete ABC and it's gone. So these are important um, commands to remember. You pretty much all, most of what I do on the command line is, I do a ton of clearing. I do CD um, and I do LS and then removing and then making directories. Um, also, remove dir, I don't really use that too much. I almost exclusively use rmrf um, almost all the time. So that's kind of how to create folders and delete them. And also, do not forget tab completion is amazing. I use this all the time. Just use that to just like whiz around um, the command line. Just always hit tab. So that's how, that's that. Thanks for watching.